father of the miracle baby from a werewolf named Haley Bieber. Huh? What's up guys, it's Ariana here and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here and never seen this face before, come and join my YouTube family by subscribing down below and hit the bell notification button for every time I post, you'll get to know first. Given the current situation, we are watching Netflix more than ever and everybody is asking each other for suggestions. So here I am with this video. So in this video, you'll get 10 binge-worthy Netflix suggestions from uh, two genres that is supernatural and science fiction there will be a part two and a part three so don't worry about that yeah let's get right into the video so the first show is the nerve nerve is basically a game in the game there are watchers and there are players so watchers pay to watch and the players have to complete their deals to get money if they don't complete, uh, complete their dares, uh, they simply get disqualified. And uh, in the show, there's one main character, a girl named V. She is uh, always reserved and into herself, but her friends peer pressures her into joining the game. And when she joins the game, it starts off with easy dares, and as the show goes on and the game levels up the tears become more dangerous and intense and eventually you will see that how screwed up this game is like literally so you should give it a watch and i'll leave the rest up to you the second show is ready player one so ready player one is a science fiction adventure set in the future it is based on the virtual reality gaming thing which most of the people uses to escape their dull reality. So basically when you are in OSS you can be whatever you wanna be, whoever you wanna be but when the creator of the OSS dies then there is a quest to win a bunch of money and to actually gain the whole control of the OSS and the rest will be a mystery for you so the third show is black mirror black mirror is a british dystopian science fiction starring Marley cyrus i repeat dystopian science fiction it's an anthology series where humans greatest invention and darkest instincts collide so black mirror unveils that how modern technology can backfire and be used against their makers so it's a great series you should give it a watch and i hope you like it the fourth show is bird box when a mysterious dark entity decimates the whole population only one thing is for sure if you see it you'll die the bird box intercuts between two time periods that is five years after the end of the world and the day everything collapsed when a person sees this entity their eyes go all psychedelic and they take their own life because this entity takes the shape of their own worst fear so there's an actor in this show named mallory she tells her children not to take their blindfolds off no matter what happens and I'll leave the rest up to you to find out. So the fifth show is Vivor. Dr. Luther Swan aka my Damon Salvatore. Okay, I need to stop. Okay, so Dr. Luther Swan. 
I keep smiling like oh. a few moments later. Concentrate on the topic except of saying demon and repeating it. Two hours later. Okay. So the Bluetooth one actually uh, enters a world of horror when a virus is released in an ice melting due to climate change. So this virus transforms his best friend Michael into a murderous predator who feeds on human blood when he has the hunger and slowly this virus starts to spread among others and it changes others and you know like uh, the whole human race was in danger and he has to save them all while he was working on saving the world on the other hand Michael was building his own army and becoming the leader of that you know sort of army so there were two different scenarios one where the you know uh, like uh, good things are happening like one is trying to fix the things and the other is trying to you know create the chaos so that's the thing and rest will be a mystery for you to find out now that I've mentioned Damon Salvatore only one thing comes to my mind okay you're right TVD of course so now we'll be entering our next center that is supernatural so the sixth show is the vampire diaries so the storyline is uh, after a centuries of quarreling they come back to their hometown mystic falls virginia where stephen salvatore meets a high school girl named elena gilbert who he f instantly falls in love with because she is the doppelganger of the girl he met back in the century named Catherine Pierce and Damon Salvatore also comes to the town because he wants to you know make his brother's life full of misery because he turned him in 1864 against his will so he, wa he just wants to pay back if you are a supernatural fan I'm telling you you should watch it because this series is not like twilight where it's just werewolves and vampires and just it's just limited to that it has many supernatural creatures like um, heretics siphoners doppelganger hybrids and um, hunters many more ghosts i mean anything sirens also so there's a great concept the plot is really nice you should give it a try and yeah it's like everything put together that once can only imagine you know the supernatural desire of a human okay I'm being extra so now we'll go to the next show the seventh show is Lucifer. It's quite famous and if you haven't watched it, you should. So it is based on an urban fantasy and uh, it's a story of an original fallen angel, bored and unhappy as being the lord of hell. Lucifer Morningstars abandon his throne and retires to Los Angeles. And while being there, he helps people get out of their miseries by his experience and telepathic ability to bring out their deepest desire and then one day at his nightclub he meets a detective named Chloe so he was involved in a shootout so that's how they two met each other and um, then I don't know why but Chloe amazed him in a strange way and uh, they started to work together on the cases so the detective uh, helps him to become an LAPD 
consult. So he could punish people through law and justice. And uh, the rest is for you to see. So the eighth show is Teen Wolf. So basically there's a high school student named Scott who gets bitten by a werewolf and it gives him a super strength, confidence and super senses, you know. So technically it makes him a freak for normal people and pray for werewolf hunter of course and enemy to some of his own kinds like vampires and etc. So now he and his friends Styles and um, Derek, yeah Derek, he's also a werewolf, Styles is normal. So they get into a mission sort of stuff to protect their friends and family from these supernatural creatures and uh, yeah it's a great you know show you should watch it so the ninth show is shadow hunters shadow hunters follows an 18 year girl named Claire. so she lives in brooklyn with her mother and on her 18th birthday she finds out that she is not what she thinks she is like here's the tea girls and she is the descendant who are born to protect the world from demons when her mother uh, gets kidnapped by a group called circle she has to get along with her friends and other shadow hunters to catch them and punish them so rest will be a mystery for you The tenth and the final show is The Originals. So it's a spin-off from DVD set in New Orleans. Original concentrates on the Michaels and siblings. So when Klaus decides to reclaim his city from the ruling of Marcellus, he gets to know that he is the father of the miracle baby from a werewolf named Hilly. And that this baby could bring his broken Michaels and family together. The original gives a depth to each character explaining why Klaus is so paranoid and villainish and why Elijah is so devoted to Klaus and his other siblings and why Rebecca wants to have a normal life despite of being the strongest creature in the world. And I would suggest to watch it after watching the Vampire Diaries because you know you will sort of connect to the incidents because there are some flashbacks and uh, connected stories to it. And if you like this video, smash a huge thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.